Hey everyone, Zef here and welcome to Ghostbusters Overview. So Meta is treating this as the next flagship title for the Quest 3 essentially. I mean we'll have to see because Ghostbusters, I don't think it's just my generation of the franchise at all. I think it's just before me that was happening and I kind of treat it as a yet another game despite being like popular in the movies or whatever. To me the song is more iconic than the actual like anything really. <laughs> so Ghostbusters is supposed to be an action adventure game where you're set out to fight against the Ghost Lord that well I don't know really because the description of the store literally contains the information about the DLCs, limited time edition something and joining the discord that's made from Sony like there's no information whatsoever like okay like I don't really care what's gonna be like the future of the game or whatever I just want to know the content Concept. I mean the trailer doesn't even show that much footage. I probably cut out like 50 or 60 percent of it So it's not a good start. Let me just say that and now going to the official site of end dreams It doesn't say much either like we're gonna go to San Francisco Which I actually went this vacation <laughs> and we'll be just trapping and defeating ghosts in some combat scenarios that's it. <laughs> I don't know how to feel about this really now that I'm just seeing this situation unveiling. From the screens and just the small snippets it looks fine. I think it was just made for Quest 2. Some ghost action, walking with weapons, co-op mode. I think that was supposed to be like a mainly co-op gameplay instead of something you'll do alone but I'm pretty sure you'll have boss to dispose of. I mean I guess let's just go into the gameplay because there's not much to talk about because they don't give us any content whatsoever. So let's see what this is about. <laughs> Yo, what up, Gabby? Hey, Big T. Your boy bailed on me. I need someone else. Okay, okay. I'll put out a call to the Big T fam. But, Gabby, why not just go yourself? Drive three hours to collect some old equipment? I just need a no-questions-asked courier who doesn't mind a little casual trespass. Mm, got it. What about Gustav Hookfaber? No sign of him. But that doesn't mean he won't be home any minute to find my proton pack left behind in that creepy ass mansion of his. Probably hunt me down and sue me for all I don't have. This seems sketch. Something's up with Gustav, Gabby. This sudden PKE spike ain't no coincidence. Just wait. I'm featuring on my next show. Whatever, T. No one sane listens anyway. Just get my pack back. Thanks, T. <laughs> There's some storyline. <laughs> Big T sent you? Cool. I'm Gabriella, head of California Ghostbusters. Thanks for showing up. Job's pretty simple. I just need you to grab some equipment my last assistant accidentally left behind in there. Yeah, I mean settings first. Alright, seems fine with me. So this is a... Uh... Cell shaded game. I mean, kind of. It's not hardcore implementation. It's something in between, like cartoony adventure, but also it looks good. <laughs> Anyways, head on in. See if you can find my equipment. Grab that. My modded PKE meter! Gaseous ionization detection and short-range radio location tech. Thing's a real marvel of engineering. How could anyone leave it behind? See that suspicious handprint? Use the PKE to scan it and it'll highlight any matching signals in the house. Ew. As I thought. The icon on your PKE map is something matching that signal. Go check it out. No. What the hell? <laughs> Moose. Another handprint. My guess is it belongs to my runaway assistant. That's a portrait of Gustav Hookfaber, dude with the cane. 
Okay, I'll give you more. Gustav Hookfaber, hero, inventor, philanthropist, and current Bay Area resident. He moved here from Sweden in the 80s. Get out. That's nice. I mean, now seeing the mansion, it's okay, but not of the highest quality. Atmospheric enough, I suppose. But there can be some more detail going on for sure. Led you here. Try scanning the bookcase for a clue. There's something. Gustav, you're a bit of a cliche with this secret bookcase door. Okay. Radar signal looks different because it's coming from downstairs. Oh, come on. Did you touch something? No. the power gone. You're stuck down there unless you find a way to restore it. Damn it. It's supposed to be a silly game, not a horror one. Well, that's not right. I see. Your hand goes through things, but then... You have some physics going on, so... It's kind of 50-50. The PKE meter is reacting to those floating manifestations. Class 1 ectoplasmic vapor? Why here? The what? Yes! Great work! That's my muon trap. Latest spectral compression tech, enhanced capacity, spring-loaded launcher. A Ghostbusters best friend. Try it out on those floating PK emotes. Launch the trap underneath them. Oh, it can bounce or something. I got what? I would like to switch the order. What is this place? Just the proton pack left to find. Oh, and the power to fix if you want to go home later. So, light work. PKE meters picking up something big. Glad you got my trap.
free floating, full torso. You need to launch your trap under it. Oh, it's not a window. Oops. <laughs> Ah, oh, shit! You okay? That was awesome! Great job! First ghost sighting in the Bay Area for decades, and I wasn't there to see it! It's fine. I'm not salty. I mean, you were lucky that one was just chilling. Don't get too cocky. If anything spicier comes by... I'm not sure you stand a chance. Ha! Huh. Nice work with that trap. As a rule, we train our rookies for that. <laughs> Damn. What's going on? I've only got static! Jesus. Is that Gustav? What the hell happened? Well, this just got complicated and urgent. Find my proton pack and get out quickly or the Ghostbusters will be framed. Again. Hot damn this game. It's more intense than I would think it's gonna be. Where? I'm just going to put this out there, and I don't want to freak you out at all. It's possible that whatever killed Hookfaber is still in this place. Uh huh. That does not seem a good news. Ah, there's a broken fuse. I expect that tripped the power. Fix it and get yourself home. How? Burnt fuse? Gustav's definitely the kind of guy who'd have some spares lying around. How convenient. That's it. There you go. That elevator will be working now. As soon as you... Uh-oh. Look! My proton pack! Grab it. Ah. Uh. <laughs> My proton pack. Grab it. That's it. Now get out of there. Well, this is bad. What the hell is this? You survived. Phew. Now maybe the doors will open. As bad is it to handle it. Work's not done yet. One more to try. Launch the trap under the ghost and use the proton bar to drag them above it. Machine looks like some kind of ecto containment unit. Has the city been free of ghosts because Gustav was mopping them up this whole time? But why? Get ready. There's more coming. Ghost is tethered, you need to 
pull against it to damage it, but not too much, or the proton wand will overheat and the beam will snap. <laughs> the mechanics. But that's what's so cool. <laughs> I met, he was upstairs. Are you sure you've never done this before? Wow, I mean, you're barely alive, but it was still impressive to watch. This is cool so far. <laughs> I'm not getting copy struck now. <laughs> Great. You made it here okay. For a moment back there, I thought you got smoked. So, this is headquarters. Pretty much brand new everything. We kitted it out before I knew just how quiet San Francisco's ghost life is. Or was, you know, before you accidentally unleashed a demon on the city. <laughs> Don't worry. It'll be our secret. You should get changed. Check out the lockers. New threads are on me. And to get away from this idea. <laughs> we'll finish here and so far I'm okay with this. I suppose the only thing to upgrade or fix on is the level of the graphics because they can be more detailed. They are still cartoony but there's like a way of enhancing visuals without decrepiting the art style. Mechanics work well, storyline, subtitles. Pretty much everything's right. It's definitely more cinematic gameplay, though it's still based in the VR realm. I mean, I found it interesting that we have some, you know, lighting and shadows going on, but then the level details are less than it should be. <laughs> Overall, we might continue this in co-op mode or not. We'll see in the future. I just wish there's gonna be like a quest-free patch because this is definitely quest 2 levels and it's very appropriate but at this point i'm looking for a more enhanced experience 